Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create an automated Google Sheets summary that box. Okay, so now, let's get started. Uh, assuming I have an example here, I have the status for some Sheets, Sheets function like homepage, about us, product, product detail, put search, search detail, and file dealer. Yeah. And in each Sheets, I have four status, open, in progress, reopen and close yeah. and after that I will do some calculation to do to, to, to calculate how many is open in progress reopen or close bug or the or another tickets for the sys. So now in this video today I will guide you how to do it in the Google Sys. Okay, let us start it. I will open the Google Sys on my browser and then I will create a new sys. And then maybe automate this is summary that bot. Okay. And here I will read, I will change the name for this is to her uh, overview. Okay. And then I will create a new sys and then maybe home. Home page. Okay. So in the home page, I will have some the. I will have. I will have some column here, name, mm, decoration, uh, bug tie, some other thing is status, and this one is note. Okay, so for the number, I will make it smaller and enter some value from one, and then I will increase it to. 11 or, or 10 only okay for some description I will enter some description here 0 1 and then I copy this one for the book tie I will have something like book or another thing improvement so I will create two status for this one. I right click on this and I will select the data validation here. You can also select this cell and click on the menu data and select the option in data validation here. So in the data validation, I will select the criteria here in drop down. I will select the list of items. Okay. And here I will have two stated. I mean two value. Two value is the first one is bug and comma and second one in will be the improvement. Okay. And I click on save. And then we copy it for own of the row here. Okay. Okay. And for status. I will have some status like open in progress data validation in the list of items. I will have open in reopen. So now I will select some the something here for the bug type, bug improvement, bug improvement, bug improvement, bug, 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 and bug. For the status, I will select the open. By default, it should be open. Copy it for own here. Okay, and then I will do some the formatting for this to make it look better. Okay. 
and then I will copy this this sys for creating another sys duplicate this one home page duplicate 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 okay and then I have we have some the about us product product detail footer search so detail find the file dealer okay so assuming we have the create some the data for some sys home page about the product detail and another page here so so now i will open the overview and in the overview i will create a summary that about here firstly let me create something like this one i will have some paste and function and another one is stated okay i will have this one is status okay and then i will have the name put it here Okay, and then I will do some formatting for the table here. Merge this one and make, make it center align alignment. And okay, for status, I will have something like open in progress. Uh, in progress, reopen and close. Okay. And underneath the color, I will have total. Okay. And then make this one a bigger. I will select on by press the control A on my keyboard. And here I will have some the vertical alignment. I click on this one and select the middle. Here. Okay. So for a take wrapping, I will select this one. A graph. Okay. Because when we work in any in any sys file, we have the and any any item with a long text, we we should select option a text wrapping, okay, and for this title, I mean this sys name, I will select some the formatting to make it display in the rotate up, okay, and then I will make this one a smaller reduce the width okay and then i will increase the font size for jump here to make it bigger okay for this one bow yeah fill the color for this here and for this one as well mm, something like this Okay, and for status, I will select other color to make it easier to see. Okay, for the total, it will be the same. Copy. Okay, make this one a right alignment. Okay, I merge the rest, this one. Okay, and then I will select this one here and make it with the own border okay so at the end of this one i will have a other total yeah so this total will be uh, will be do summary will be using to do the calculate the total uh, tickets or total status for exist yeah and this this one, this total will be using to do the calculates for each data. Okay. No. 
ok change the color for this bigger ok Okay, for the open, I will select this one, yeah, and then I will select the home. Yeah, in the home page here, I will do the summary. I mean, I will count everything with the status the open. Okay, and then I will have a cow if. Okay, and firstly in the cow if I have to select the range of the cow. And then I have to select the greater reason. Okay. And firstly, I will select the rain. Rain. It should be from the D two. Yeah. D two, and I will increase it to around one hundred, because in 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 the execution time, when we have any issue to log into this file, I no need to adjust the the formula okay and then it should be the open open status okay enter yeah it we have stated is sick for the open one two three four five six okay it working fine so here you take a look into the formula for this one we should make this one is static by using the dollar shine dollar shine here it will make this one is static and then i will copy the formula for on here copy okay show for this one i will change the another status you see here we have open in progress I copy this one and change it here enter and reopen enter and the last one is close okay we copy the same for all the pro here okay so now here the next step you take a look into here we are using the same sys for home pet so now here we have to change the sys name for another sys we have a uh, about it Okay, so we have done the calculation for each row here, each status and each page or function. Okay, so now here we do some the total for each page. Copy this one. Yeah, okay. The same thing for this one. copy okay and then the last one i will have the total total of, of all the item or bug loaded in our system okay make this one a right alignment bow okay
this should be sum this one should be the sum of this this one or this one it should be the same oh sorry let me okay 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 it work fine so here for example i have the some status it, it is zero i win half for example i win half the reopen is it will be zero open another thing is in progress is zero Hello, zero, zero. Okay, back, back to the overview. Okay, so you see here we have some status is zero in axis. Okay. So now here I will do some formatting. If any status which contain the value is zero, I will find some color here. Yeah, for easier to see or checking. Okay, so here I will select this one, and I right click on this, and then I select the conditional formatting. Okay, so in the format rows, I will select the format cells if it is it should be equal to zero and then i will select the fin color to make it a gray dark gray okay yeah so now here i will select this one and then i will click on pen format copy the same format for other as a value here, yeah, the wrap and drop the red you want to be format. Yeah. So you see here, all of the cell which have the zero value will be changed the color. Okay. So for example, I have a status for about earth in reopen e one. So I will open the about earth and change the status reopen to make it back to zero. So back to the overview. Yeah. It have been updated okay so here the last one i in the axis here if you want to do some highlight for any axis to make it a are uh, highly important than other one so you click on the arrow button here arrow down button and you will select the change color and then you select some of the color here okay so after that it will have the color in red for overview or even you when you click on the this one it will display the red red cycle here yeah it will make this one different with other one okay okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to how to fully collect all of the data from some multiple sys in the google sys file and then you do some you create some the uh, summary dashboard to do some calculation for each sys in each data or uh, for, uh, for the data in each sys and after that you do some formatting to make some data for example, is zero. It look different with other other values in the table. Okay, so I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, leave it, and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye, and see you guys in the next video.